I am super excited about this projection alarm clock. This is the box that comes in, which I find it kind of odd that it doesn't have a real photo of the product, but it does have that on the back, so okay. And there are some other details on it. But to the product, I'm super excited about this. Um, I love having a projection alarm clock that projects on my ceiling and um, I can just like look up when I'm rolling over in the middle of the night and know what time it is versus having to squint and glasses and all that kind of business. And there's some awesome other features about this too. First one, I'm just going to kind of go through them randomly, is that you can dim this display. So there is a dimmer slash DST uh, button. Just press that and there's three settings. There's, this is the middle setting and then the low setting which you can hardly see. This is me turning the light off and you can still hardly see it, um, which is perfect for me because lights glowing, I can't sleep with them, so that's perfect. And for the DST, that's the daylight savings time. Instead of having to change your alarm clock time and like set it and figure out how to change it, you can just press and hold this button and it turns the time and then there's a little, it says DST right here and it lights that button up and then to turn it off, you just press and hold. So that is super fun. So just at the time, there are the buttons on top and uh, you press the set time to get it flashing and then just change the hour and the minutes. And when you're done, you can either press this okay button or the set time button and it'll be set. And if you want 24 or 48 hour, you press and hold this guy. I have it not on a later hour. So there we are. And press and holding. And then it, you'll see this PM lights up and now it says it's 114. So for the alarms, there is alarm one and alarm two. And if you snooze, it will snooze for nine minutes. And basically you press it until it's flashing. You do your hour and your minute and you either do okay or alarm one again. And then that's set and it's lit. If to turn off the alarm, you press and hold the alarm button for whichever one, and then the light goes out. You can also change the volume of the alarm, which is super nice when you have partners, or just for yourself. And that is on the side. You have volume up. the range for that and it does have two alarms so you can um, press those also and when you're done having your alarm going off you just press the alarm on slash pause and it will reset it for 24 hours later so this part right here is for the projection of the time and this part right here adjusts the focus on whatever wherever you're displaying it. So I am tilting this to be really, really close. They suggest I think it's like at least like three feet away or something along those lines. Um, but it actually still works quite well close up. Um, and then I'm putting it up to my ceiling and refocusing it now. And that's it on the ceiling in a dark room. So it's not obnoxious, but it's definitely readable for sure. And this does come with some other really nice features on the back here. So it uh, doesn't come with them, but three AA batteries, two AA batteries. And that will basically make your alarm go off if you lose power. It's not going to display things, but at least your alarm's going to go off. It does have a USB charger. Unfortunately, it's only one amp, so that's going to charge your phone slow, and it's not going to charge an iDevice, um, unfortunately. Uh, this is the power in, and it does have these four holes, and it came with two of these. So basically, these do fit in there. It doesn't actually say in the directions what they're for, but they fit in there, so I'm presuming that's sort of like the stand, so it's not going to fall over. Um, and this does have a cover, but I just took it off for demonstration purposes. And then this part's the speaker. And just jumping back to the projection part um, real quick, this 
button right here will flip it. So depending, you know, where you have it, um, if you want it up or down for you to be able to read it, and then one more for off. So if you don't want to use the projection part, you don't have to. And the third setting is just turning it back on normal. So overall, I'm really impressed with this. Can there be a few improvements like the charging port? Yeah, but does it really is super cool that it has a charging port? Yeah, um, it has the, the dimmable feature, which I adore. Um, all in all, this is definitely a win for me and I'm very happy with it and love using this.